Let's look at the builder design pattern. Now the builder pattern is also a creational pattern whose intent is to separate the construction of a complex object from its representation so that you can use the same construction process to create different representations. We'll demonstrate that. Okay, so the builder pattern tries to solve how can a class create different representations of a complex object? How can a class that includes creating a complex object be simplified? Okay, so we'll demonstrate those two points as well. So the builder and the factory patterns are very similar in the fact that they both instantiate new objects at runtime. The difference is when the process of creating the object is more complex. So rather than the factory returning a new instance of object A, it calls the builder's director constructor method object A dot construct. So that goes through a more complex construction process involving several steps and both return an object or product. Okay, so product, that's the product or the object that is returned and that you can use in the client. The builder builds the concrete product and implements the iBuilder interface. There's the builder interface there. The interface that the concrete builder should implement, okay, and the director has a construct method that when called creates the customized product. So here we go, the UML diagram is the client and there's a director and there's the director, which is like a convenience class which calls the builder's construct method here and the builder can then go build part a part b part c or none at all or part c then part a it shouldn't really matter in what order or if it does it at all and then finally we get the product back the director and then the client so anyway the source code the client creates the director here the client calls the director's construct method which then manages each step of the build process so the director is saying build part a or build part b director then returns the product to the client or alternatively you could create a specific method to retrieve it later we'll see that in the example use case okay so here's the code i'm going to open up visual studio okay so builder concept.py it's in the builder folder there builder concept okay so if we look at that there is the interface here with several methods build part Part A, Part B, Part C, and a method to get the final product. So get result, return the final product. Abstract static. The builder class, which implements the iBuilder. When you instantiate a new builder, it will call the init method, which will create a product. And this product down here is just a minimal object that contains one attribute called parts, which happens to be a list. That's the two square brackets there. We'll talk about lists in the next few videos. Okay, so back to the builder class. These are the implementations of the methods as outlined in the interface. And they don't do much in the concept example. They just append a letter to the products parts list okay so the director we have a construct method constructs and returns the final product so return builder we're creating a new builder which will call the builders init method which creates the product we can then build part a part b part c and get the final result down here in the client that's what i do product director construct print product dot parts so from the client perspective it's really simple that's control single quote to open up the terminal python builder builder concept.py and there we go it's just printing out the list or the parts of the product so product parts happens to be a list so here i've essentially just built part a part b part c if you look at those methods again they are appending to the parts list and a b c so we see a b c now with the building you should aim for each of these methods here to be able to be called independently or in any order for example i can comment out build part b and c and that will still work Actually, I have to fix up the formatting a little bit there. So build part A, get result. Okay, so it just returns A, or I could just say build part B. There we go, get result. Or I'm pressing Control Z now, or it could also be done in any order. So C, A, B. Okay, Control F, I have to get rid of that white space there. There we go, C, A, B. Python is very white space sensitive, so you might find those unexplainable errors sometime. I'll just show that to you if I press Control Z. On Visual Studio Code, it shows me like a very faint gray, indicating there's a whole lot of spaces there. Now, you wouldn't expect that to really be a problem, but Python treats that as a problem. So if I save that and just run that again, we'll see the error again. So unexpected character after line continuation character. So there we go. That's that slash there. I'm just continuing the line to the next line. That's an alternate way of saying that. So that works so python xc there we go but sometimes pilot might say the line is too long so in that case you can do things like add a line continuation character like that and the line carries on to the next okay so if we go down to the summary down the bottom here so the builder pattern is a creational pattern that is used to create more complex objects than you'd expect from a factory 
So you can see each of the steps there and we get the final product. The builder pattern should be able to construct complex objects in any order and include exclude whichever available components it likes. So we saw that we can remove an option if we like or we can remove them all together. And we'll just return an empty product with no parts. Okay. So for different combinations of products that can be returned from a builder, use a specific director to create the bespoke combination. So down here, I've created one director, but we'll see the use case that I'll create different directors that will return different combinations of the builder. Okay. So you can also use the abstract factory to add an abstraction between the client and the director if you like. So basically, if we go back to the abstract factory and look at the factory concept there, Let's say hypothetically that factory A was a builder. You go create object and you'd call its construct method like so. Okay, so in the next video, we'll look at a use case of the builder pattern. Well, I'll create different kinds of houses. Excellent.